Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 10th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happened today in history. Thanks, Tony. Today in history, May 10th, 1503, Christopher Columbus sighted the Cayman Islands and named them Las Tortugas after the numerous sea turtles seen swimming in the surrounding waters. Columbus had found these two smaller sister islands, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, and it was these two islands that he named Las Tortugas. Now that's a way to stretch out our heads to the world like the sea turtles. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. The winning horse of the most popular horse race in the USA was Medina Spirit. The 147th Kentucky Derby was held last week. Medina Spirit started out strong, but had to hold off the number two horse, Mandaloon, in the final stretch. The victory was an incredible upset on the track, and also a historic moment for trainer Bob Baffert, who stands alone with the seven Kentucky Derby wins in his career. John Velasquez, the horse's jockey, rode out the last Kentucky Derby and won then, too. The Puerto Rican jockey now boasts four Kentucky Derby wins in over the last 11 years. Inspired by the 147th Kentucky Derby, this week's sports highlights will be exploring the other exciting sports that include some of our four-legged friends. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is hero sandwich, tropical veggie juice, applesauce, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go to Sonia for our National Week segment. Thank you, Onalicia. Good morning, Patriots. This month is National Bike Month. This month shows appreciation for this great way of transportation. Not only is riding a bike fun, but it's also a great source of exercise. Riding bikes is great for helping the heart, lungs, and your circulation. It's also great for losing weight and building strength. Appreciate the outdoors and go on a bike ride today. Happy National Bike Month. Let's go. Back to Peyton. Thank you, Sonia. Scholars, this month we continue to show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 89 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Finally, the weather is cool now. We can play a game of football. Now let's go to someone for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. How do you raise a baby dinosaur? With a crane. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Enira Roll and Anthony Fisher. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Mraz, Ms. Imden Kwa, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Stone, Ms. Manon, Ms. Jimenez, and Ms. Samuel. You all had the correct answer to last week's riddle, which was, what do an island and the letter T have in common? The correct answer to the riddle was, if the red house is on the right and the blue house is on the left, where is the white house? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget to remember, unite, rise. Have a great day.